Hi everyone and thank you for joining me today. My name is Kamen Sharonjev and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect here at AWS. Today I will show you how to use Amazon AppFlow integration with Marketo. We will build several flows to ingest data from Marketo and automatically store this data on Amazon S3, Salesforce. Also, we will explore the option to transfer data from Marketo to Snowflake directly. Let's get started. Here is our first use case. I'll use the help of Amazon AppFlow to extract data from Marketo and save this data on Amazon S3. Then I will build a data catalog with AWS Glue and finally I'll preview the data using standard SQL language with the help of Amazon Athena. You can see that I'm working in the AWS console now. I will use an existing S3 bucket called AppFlow Demo Data Lake where I've already used Amazon AppFlow to extract data from various other software as a service systems. You can find Amazon AppFlow in the console under the application integration section. We will begin by creating our first flow. I will name this flow Marketo S3. Then I will give it a source, select Marketo, click connect and fill up all the data related to your Marketo account. I will use the same connector for all flows which I will create today, so let's give it a meaningful name. For this flow, I will export all leads from Marketo and I'll store the information into Amazon S3. Let's select our data lake here and I'm not going to add any prefix because AppFlow will automatically add one for me. Here I need to choose and map the fields I'd like to extract from Marketo and assign them to our names in our destination. In this case, I'll map all fields directly. Let's set up a filter and extract the data for the past month only. And let's create the flow and run it. Our first flow just finished and as you can see on the screen, it took around 3 minutes to extract over 20,000 of records without me writing a single line of code. Ok, so we now have our data stored in S3. But how can we see what's inside? Here's where AWS Glue and Amazon Athena comes in handy. Let's go to AWS Glue first and create a crawler for our data. I will have to give it a name and specify the S3 bucket to crawl the data. I will create a new row to allow AWS Glue to access our data in S3. I'll create a new database, save and run the crawler. Our crawler just finished successfully and as you can see on the screen we have 4 tables discovered. Let's see what Glue have discovered for us. Here is our Marketo S3 table and as you can see AWS Glue has automatically found our data schema for us. Now. Let's quickly go to Amazon Athena and query our data to see how it looks. Ok, let's create something more interesting this time. How about a new flow which will ingest the leads data from Marketo and store it automatically in Salesforce. Let's do this next. Let's go back to Amazon AppFlow and create a new flow. We'll again choose to use Marketo as a source. We already have a connector so we'll just reuse this one. And this time for destination I'll select Salesforce. I already have created a connector for Salesforce from my previous videos. So let's reuse it and let's select leads as a destination object. Here we need to map the fields between our source Marketo and our destination Salesforce. This task takes few minutes, but the great thing of all is that you only need to do it once. Let's also specify a filter for this flow. And in the interest of time, add ingest leads created in Marketo in the last few days only. Click create and let's run the flow. While the flow is running, let's switch to Salesforce, where you can see that we don't have any leads at the moment. Our flow now finished and there are three records processed. Let's see how things look in Salesforce now. And as you can see, we have three leads 
imported from Amazon AppFlow. For our next flow, let's pretend we have a big data project. I'll use Amazon AppFlow to connect to Marketo again, ingest and save big data directly into Snowflake as a destination. Let's go back to our AWS console and create a new flow. But before we do this, let's open Snowflake and I'd like to show you the table I've created in advance of this demo. Here it is, and it's called Marketo Activities. And we'll use this table as a destination to our data. OK, back to the AWS console. Let's name our flow Marketo Snowflake. I'll once again reuse my Marketo connector that I've created earlier in the demo. This time, I'd like to transfer Marketo activities and I will select Snowflake as a destination. I will give the connection a meaningful name and I'll select Marketo Activities table that I've created in Snowflake as a destination. Here, I will specify an S3 bucket and a prefix where Amazon AppFlow will store any errors during the transfer of data if they occur. I'll once again need to map our fields from source and destination and this time I want to show you a friendly interface where you can easily map source and destination fields. Once again, I'll set up a filter for this flow and I'll shorten my range to get the data faster. Click Create Flow and let's run it. The flow finished successfully and as you can see, it transfers a little over 115,000 records for less than 5 minutes. Now, let's go back to Snowflake and see how this data looks. And here it is. This video was a short demonstration of how you can use Amazon AppFlow to ingest data from Marketo and save this data into various destinations. I hope you found it useful. See you next time.